now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds, in battle, in forest, at the precipice in the mountains, on the dark great sea, in the midst of javelins and arrows, in sleep, in confusion, in the depths of shame, the good deeds a man has done before defend him. The optimist thinks this is the best of all possible worlds. The pessimist fears it is true. If the radiance of a thousand suns were to burst at once into the sky that would be like the splendor of the mighty one, it is a profound and necessary truth that the deep things in science are not found because they are useful. They are found because it was possible to find them. No man should escape our universities without knowing how little he knows. Any man whose errors take ten years to correct is quite a man. When we deny the evil within ourselves, we dehumanize ourselves, and we deprive ourselves not only of our own destiny, but of any possibility of dealing with the evil of others, it is perfectly obvious that the whole world is going to hell. The only possible chance that it might not is that we do not attempt to prevent it from doing so. There are no secrets about the world of nature. There are secrets about the thoughts and intentions of men. Knowledge cannot be pursued without morality. My childhood did not prepare me for the fact that the world is full of cruel and bitter things. The foolish man seeks happiness in the distance the wise grows. It under his feet. There is no place for dogma and science. The scientist is free and must be free to ask any question to doubt any assertion, to seek for any evidence, to correct any errors. When you see something technically sweet, you go ahead and do it, and you argue about what to do about it. Only after you have achieved success, being wealthy might seem to be supremely enviable, he wrote. But the business of wealth getting and of wealth enjoyment, when viewed at close range, turns out to be a very different matter. I need physics more than friends. Scientists are not delinquents. Our work has changed the conditions in which men live. But the use made of these changes is the problem of governments, not of scientists. In the material sciences these are and have been, and are most surely likely to continue to be heroic days. Both the man of science and the man of action live always at the edge of mystery surrounded by it. Mr. President, I have blood on my hands. Thanks for watching.